Guys, lately I have been watching a lot of Red Velvet videos and I watched their Bad Boy MV and I... I stand. I have never really been into girl groups, at least not like super into them, but I feel like I'm getting really into Red Velvet. And I saw Wendy's makeup look and she looks so pretty. I don't know why it looks so white in the camera. That's weird. But it is just such a pretty, like nice brown smoky eye and a really pretty like corally pink lip. And I wanna, I wanna recreate this. I want to recreate this. I love their bad boy MV. And if you guys know my sister Michelle, Michelle is like a super, super red velvet fan. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be learning about them very quickly. She already sent me today an unhelpful guide to red velvet. And it was really cute. I really liked it. So if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can get right into the video. So my face is already moisturized. I already have all my skincare on. I already primed my face. I used the Smashbox hydrating primer already so it's already absorbed into my skin i'm going to be using a ccc cream and it has a little bit of spf so i'll probably keep this makeup on for the rest of the day i'm going to start out by doing my base makeup so i'm going to be putting on my base my concealer my contour and i'm just going to set it in the areas that I feel it's necessary for concealer i'm going to be using the sephora bright future gel serum concealer and I'm just gonna put it in the spots where I feel like it's necessary so I'm gonna put it in the inner corner and here on the outside I'm putting a little bit on my cupid's bow on my chin and on my forehead then I'm gonna grab this tiny little buffing brush this is the morphe r33 and I'm going to blend that into my skin I'm just gonna start pressing it in it was really hard to find a good picture of her makeup look. I watched so many live stages. I tried to screenshot so many parts of the music video and I couldn't find like a really, really good one. So I settled on that one. It's really beautiful. It's a little bit more smoky than what it is that she's wearing in the music video and on some live stages. But I like that one more. I like that it's a little more bold. Now with the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick, this is the color Mink. I'm going to just do a really nice like natural contour. Nothing crazy, something just subtle and enough to kind of just warm up the face and be able to kind of sculpt the outer perimeters of my face. Now I'm gonna set all the areas in my face that will crease, which is for me, my under eyes and my forehead. But that's totally up to you what areas you wanna set. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Now for brows, I'm just gonna fill in the sparse areas using my Benefit Cabral Pomade, and I'm gonna set it using my Essence Make Me Brow Gel. Alrighty, now that we have all the base makeup done, she didn't do anything like out of the ordinary that I felt like I had to get very in depth with when it came to the the base makeup everything seems pretty like standard from the picture she is a little heavy I don't know why it doesn't show well but she is a, going a little heavy here on like the rosy blush which is fine we're gonna do that after and her her brows are bold this is honestly a stunning stunning look her eyes look like a really nice brown smoky and for that I'm gonna use the modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills I feel like it has the colors that I'm looking for. This and then like a nice brown. I also brought this, which is the BH Cosmetics It's My Ray Ray palette because this is a really, 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 really good brown to use on the lid as like a liner because there she has, she has like a soft liner and then it's kind of like smudged out with a really dark brown. So I'll probably use that one because I like the undertone of that one more than Cypress Umber. Cypress Umber's a little more chocolatey. I also brought this palette, which I've never used on camera. This is kind of like my go-to palette. It has my go-to eyeshadows, blush, contour, highlight, highlighter. Um, I could do a makeup look using my go-to shadows or I can do a video dedicated to them. Just let me know if you guys want that in the comments below. But anyways, I brought these guys too because I feel like I'm going to have to use one of these on the eyelid also. Probably this one. This one's a little more warmer. But anyways, let's jump right into it then. 
I'm going to be grabbing these two guys. I'm going to do a mix of the two and I'm going in with my blending brush. This is the Morphe R38, I think it is. So I'm using those two guys and I'm going to put it in my trans in my crease as my transition shade. My crease is right here. Right here you see where the brow bone meets my eyelid. That's my that's the transition area. That's my crease. So that's where I'm going to put the product in. I'm going to keep it low. Then I'm going to grab some of that color and I'm going to put it right on the eyelid. So we're having the color in the transition area and on the lid. Make sure it's all blended out. I know I'm a little late with this. I was hesitant about still doing this video because I was like, this MV came out a month ago. But my sister Michelle really thought that I should do it. And I also really, really liked their makeup look. I mean, their makeup look, her makeup. Oh, I like all of their makeup looks actually, but I really liked this one for some reason. It looked so beautiful on her. I wish I had blue contacts. I feel like that would just like seal the deal and just make the look. When I'm blending it out, I'm kind of like pulling it out toward like, like following the shape of my eyebrow. I'm kind of like pulling it out. It's gonna add to that like very pretty, like, angled smoky eye that she has going on we still have to put like a little bit of liner and kind of like smoke it out but we're gonna do that after right now we kind of have to set down the transition shade but i'm just pulling it out a bit see if you guys can tell i'm just kind of like following that pattern now i'm gonna grab this really nice fluffy brush it's much bigger and fluffier than the r38 this is the r40 and then i'm going to go on the transition area where there is between the transition area and my brow bone where there is no color up there and I'm just going to lightly with a very light hand just blend that out make sure everything is blended I'm grabbing a black eyeliner you want to grab like a coal eyeliner k-o-h-l and that is going to go on so much smoother it's going to be like a really 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 pigmented black color and what I'm going to do with it make sure it's not too sharp because then it's going to be like uncomfortable I'm going to go into the waterline on the top and kind of blend this in between my lashes. Watch, you guys are going to see how it's just going to add to the look. It's going to prepare us for that black eyeliner that we're going to put up there. And it just makes like the lashes look like the base of the lashes. It makes it look blacker and, and thicker. And you don't won't see any like gaps between the hairs because I'm going in. Ugh, I almost poked my eye. I'm going in between the hairs and smudging in that color. However, I'm not putting anything in the lower waterline because she doesn't have anything there from the picture that I'm seeing. I'm going to be using my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Precision Micro Eyeliner to create a small wing starting from the center of the pupil out. Now while the eyeliner dries, I'm going to start on the under eye and I'm just going to blend in the same two colors that we used previously right here on the outer quarter of the eye right before the pupil starts is where we're going to stop. She doesn't have a whole lot of color on the under eye, just on that outer portion. Now so you can see up close, you see how I have it blended here and kind of just pulling it out a little bit, but it stops right there. I have a little bit of eyeliner on the lower waterline that's kind of transferred from the top but i haven't put anything directly to the bottom just letting you guys know i'm going to go into this color right here from my z palette this is coco bear from makeup geek Ooh! coco bear almost went flying i'm going to be using that same small brush and i'm going to start blending that in on the outer portion of my eye right where the eyeliner meets my eyelid and I'm going to start smudging that color all across the line of my eye. This is going to take a little bit of time. You want to go really, really slow with it and go across the line of your eye. I like doing eyeliner first for this because as we go blending, the eyeliner is going to go blending into the eyeshadow and it's going to create that really nice smoky, smudgy liner look she has. And then that same color, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to go place it right where I placed the other colors previously. 
This way we're building up that smoky eye little by little. I'm gonna go into the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna go into this contour shade right here called Brownie Bite. And I'm grabbing that with my angled brush. This is the MAC 266. And I'm going over where I put the eyeliner. I'm patting it down just on that outer corner for now. I want the eyeliner to look smudged and diffused into that brown. And then I'm going into this little smudge brush and I'm just going to lightly blend that. Then I'm going back into the color and tapping it again right where we did the eyeliner. Now I'm going to bring that color all along the lash line. I'm just going to press that color lightly. And then I'm going back into this little brush and I'm going to lightly blend that upwards. We want this to look like a very diffused, nice, chocolatey, smoky eye and wing. Oh my god, I almost dropped this. Wow, this eye look is smoky. Now I'm going to dust away any of that excess with my little setting brush that I used to set my under eyes. In case there was any fallout. Then I'm going to go into this Smashbox color right here. I'm going to go into these two. And I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm going to start putting that color right above where I contoured. Now I'm going into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm gonna just bronze up the face a little bit. For highlight, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. This is more of like a softer highlight. That is such a pretty highlight. She has lashes on, but they are much more like natural and simple and all that but i am not a natural and simple person i am a cakey and complicated human being while my lashes dry i'm gonna go doing the lip i'm gonna use this lip tint because i left all my lip tints where i normally film i didn't bring anything to my house so i'm gonna use the pixie shea butter lip balm it's like a lip tint lip balm and it's a really really pretty color it might be a little more corally than what she has on i'm not sure because hers looked like a really nice corally pink wait let me tell you the color because coral crush there it is oh this is actually spot on now i'm gonna blend the outer line with my finger to kind of diffuse it a bit you can use a q-tip you can use a really dense blending brush I just I just use my finger and if you want a more matte look you would obviously not wear a lip mask like I had on that's more or less like the tinge that I want sometimes she wears the lip lighter and sometimes she wears it like this it depends I feel like some life stages the the eye is really smoky and then some it's like very 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 soft but I'm going for more of like the bolder side of what she was doing. You know, now that while well, my lashes are drying, I just wanna just wanna chat with you guys. I don't know who my bias is in Red Velvet yet. I'm like between Wendy and Selgi, I'm not sure. I love Selgi's little like nose and face. She's so beautiful. They're all beautiful, but I still don't know. I have to watch more of their things so that I can come up with a verdict. Wow, lashes really seal the deal on looks. I, I I love lashes. I just didn't have anything a little more natural at hand. I'm pretty sure in the picture it looked like she was using more like singles, like lash singles. I think, I'm almost positive. Usually that's what they wear. I feel like uh, K-pop idols, they don't, they usually... I, I At least I've never seen go for such a bold lash like this one, but they, they're version of bold lashes is like very natural wispy full lash not like this exaggerated big mama lash now i'm going to go into my l'oreal telescopic and i'm only going to put mascara on the outer quarter of my lower lash line where i put the smokiness and then with the same mascara i'm going to coat my top lashes so they could blend in with the falsies I'm closer to the window so you guys can see the look better. I hope you guys like it. I think it came out really, really, really pretty. It's really nice. Dude, that highlight is popping. Holy shit. 
that thing is popping and the lip tint is just i don't know i love it i love and i actually really like how it looks with bold lashes i thought the bold lashes were gonna kind of like kill the look but i really really like it and that is it for this makeup look inspired by wendy's look in bad boy i really hope you guys liked it i liked doing it i feel like it's a little different for me because of like the intense rosiness in the cheeks and normally like i don't pair such a corally pink lip with such a brown smoky eye normally at least for my style i'll go with like a nudie toasty almondy lip or i'll go with like a really dark brown or something of that nature but i thought it was really fun i'm really excited that i'm getting into red velvet i think they're all so stunning and so beautiful and so talented let me know what you guys think do you like it what do you think do you like red velvet do you listen to them have you even seen the bad boy mv i definitely recommend that you check it out it's really 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 good if you guys are not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to my channel it's totally free i'll show up in your feed whenever i upload and sometimes it gets a little lit around here actually i have naki here laying with me here she's sleeping i just woke her up naki say hi say hi mama <laughs> she's sleepy my little sleepy baby thank you guys so much for watching i love you She's upset. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.